Hello, I'm Dr. Manisha Singh. I'm a consultant gynecologist and subspecialist in reproductive medicine and surgery at Creation Fortis Hospitals, Bangalore. Today we are going to talk about PCOS or PCOD or the polycystic ovarian syndrome as it is known. The earliest reference to this disease was way back in the 17th century and more recently in 1935, Stein and Leventhal described the syndrome. This syndrome affects between 25 and 30% of women in the South Asian countries like India. And in reality, more than 50% women or girls in India have the polycystic ovary. Having polycystic ovaries is not the same as having the whole syndrome. The syndrome forms a part of the metabolic syndrome, which later on in life can increase one's risk of developing diabetes, hypertension and ischemic heart disease. This syndrome can be inherited through your genes and then a poor lifestyle may influence the manifestation of the syndrome. What you might commonly uh, experience is symptoms like irregular periods and sometimes very heavy periods. Women may notice excessive hair growth on their body, developing acne on their face, on their back, hands and there may also be issues such as infertility. Not all women suffering from this syndrome may be obese and not all of them may be infertile. But what is very important is to watch one's lifestyle. It is recommended that women who have this syndrome watch their diet and have four to five small meals a day rather than two large meals a day. It is also important to exercise at least five days a week for between 45 and 60 minutes. You may need further assistance for this problem and therefore I recommend that you see your gynecologist at the earliest. Your gynecologist may recommend therapy based on your aspirations. Should you be desirous of fertility, there are various modalities of management such as hormones, hormonal stimulation, IUI, laparoscopic ovarian drilling and in some cases IVF. However, should you not be desirous of fertility, there are various drugs which may include hormones that may be recommended for you. It is not uncommon to use the combined oral contraceptive pill and drugs such as metformin or insulin sensitizers for the management. So whether you are obese or you are slim, the cornerstone of management for PCOS remains dietary modification and regular exercise which is sweat inducing for between 45 and 60 minutes. Please do not ignore your symptoms and take hold of your lifestyle at the earliest.